I am speaking to you from the cabinet room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock, that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. Got any gum chum? I gave you my last gum a while ago. Now run along now. And the milk and 
told you I gave me some sweets. All right. I thought I told you not to speak to strangers. He's not a stranger. His name's Caleb. Oh, right, is it? What happened to the rest of them, then? You ate them, didn't you? Yeah. Better eat those. Hey Winnie Fred, how are you? Hello darling, how are you? I'm good, look what I just got from the grocer. Where'd you get all this from, Lil? Oh, you know, you've got to keep in with the grocers now, Win. There's uh, extra reserves for some special customers. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I might do. Mr. What? Mr. Fiddler's file. It's disgusting. You're a married woman, Neil. I know, but I've got to find one of nice things. Like, what do you expect me to do? Look, I'll get more butter and extra egg powder that way. But I thought you was working at a munitions factory. Yeah. Well, I don't know where you find the time, really. Wait. for me too, are they? Give me those. They're not for your eyes. <sighs> Whose eyes are they for then? Mine for these. Come on, spit it out. Oh, you always get me. <laughs> right. I've been um, going to this dance off. Right. And uh, the friend of this American soldier. The friend, you know. Doesn't he? I'm sorry. 
Yeah, that's alright. I think you like a win. Oh, okay. Do so you like that? Thanks for the chocolate. See you later, man. Typical bleating yank, isn't it? Over here, overpaid, over six. Fine, you're underpaid, under sex, and under church. Yeah, I'm going to make a difference. Yeah, I'm covering my mark. Yeah, have a go. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Don't forget. See you later after dark. Remember, mum's the word. Yes, sir. Hello, Mike. Mum's the word, right? Yeah. All right, Mr. Fiddler. Hello, girls. How's it going? Not bad, not bad. Cold enough for you? Yep. Yeah, don't worry. I'll give you something to warm you up later. Mm. Mum said, can you bring round sausages tonight? Tell her I'll round after dark and I'll bring him in the back passage. Oh, thank you. Hello, love, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mr. Fiddler. I've got something for you. Wait here. Really? Yeah. Take that out. What is it? Put it in your kitchen window. Mm. Old man overseas. Know what I mean? I don't know who you think I am, Mr. Fiddler, but you've definitely got the wrong impression about me. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. I think we should go, don't you? Bye, Fiddler. Listen, ladies, don't forget where you get your meat from. Oh, will you, Fred? Yeah, we'll hang with that, love. Dear Wynn, how are you and my best? Both well, I trust, and I hope you're doing okay. It's the same out here. A few blokes have been hit. They're in hospital now. Cold, wet, lumps in trenches. Haven't seen any real action yet, but heard some horrible stories of the fellas who have. Don't alarm you, sir. I won't explain any further. I had a few days off a week ago, so me and some of the lads went to Paris. Oh, it was nice to get a hot meal and sleep in a warm bed, rather than a freezing cold trench. I'd rather been with you. You know that, don't you? I've been thinking of you all the time. I miss you very much. I can't believe it's been three years already. Missed Christmases and birthdays. I hope Bess understands. I feel terrible that I'm missing her growing up. I know it sounds odd, but I hope I might get hit so I can come back to you. I miss your touch. If there's been anybody else, I don't think I could take that. Please, be true to me as I am to you. I'll write you as soon as I'm able to. Hope you still feel the same and the time and war hasn't changed your feelings towards me. Take care and remember, even if you don't hear from me, I love you both very much. I'll be home soon. Hopefully. Hey, Wynn. How hey, are you? Are you alright? Too bad. I just, I just came in. I saw you here. I thought I might say hi. Yeah, I just I come in to say thank you for the food that you left. Oh so. right, yeah, yeah. I I wasn't sure where to get you. I thought that was meant to be light, so. Oh, it was very kind. Much yeah? appreciated. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I've kind of there's a dance coming up soon, and I was wondering if you might want to be my date. Oh my god, I'd love to go. Really? Yeah. Good. Ooh. Give you a little swirl first. Make sure you can dance. I embarrass myself. <laughs>
Not bad. Uh, how's your Yankee mate? Huh? Do you like your present? Yeah. What's yeah. it got to do with you? Yeah. I've had some prime chops, eh? All cut up in my own hands, smothered in my lovely, tasty sauce. Very sweet. They were from you, were they? Yeah, of course they were. Oh, right. You're disgusting. Yeah, Get off. You know you love it, darling. Anyway, there's your Yankee bag. You don't have to be so rude, you know. Lily's a lovely girl. Yeah, is she really? I gave her some sausages the other day. I bet you did. Yeah, nice bit of stuffing and all. Know what I mean? I help her out. She helps me out. But I win. You still putting the Ovo boxes in the window, darling? Don't know what you mean. Yeah, I bet you don't. But I win. See you later. Thank you. 
feel. <laughs> and do you know what the worst thing is? <laughs> we were together since we were like 17 years old and after all these years it just we just were apart. Alright, these things happen, you know. These things happen. I told him that, you know, if he goes to war and he does something with someone else that I don't understand. Because I'm a. Well, you know, no, don't, don't say, say it. it. Don't say it. You're not. You're not. Come on. Let's go. Come on. We sort this out. Baby steps, okay? Come on. Win. Sort this out. Come on. That's not it. Oh. I'm pregnant. Oh, God. <laughs> Silly girl. And now I've got a bastard child. Who <laughs> wanted me to bring him up? <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm tired of him. <laughs> Come on. Sort this out, yeah? Sort this out together, alright? We sort this. <laughs> Come on, you're my best friend. Come on, Lil, it'll be alright. You're right. What am I going to do, really? What am I going to do with all my kids? I've got no one to look after them. It's with me. Come on, come with me. Baby steps, come on, come on. We sort this. We sort it out. want to do girl? Go in the women's war name yourselves, the Wrens they call them. Both got school leaving certificate. You do well in that. You both do. Fit and healthy aren't you? Yeah, yeah, healthy. Yeah. I have a bit of a problem. Well, it, it's yeah, you're looking a bit worried. Yeah. It's not me you see. Oh. Well, it's Lily. Um, she's got herself into a spot of bother, you see. A bit of a Yes. Now I heard, Mrs. Fiddler, that, yes. that you can help. Yes, I do out. help girls out, girls who trouble, yes. Well, I wonder, could you help Lily out? Please. I've got an issue. Well, it's just starting to show. Yeah, a bit later. Well, she's so young, you see. She's, she's, she can be a bit silly sometimes. She makes mistakes. We don't know of anyone else that can do this. Who's? Her old man's away, isn't he? Mm hmm. Been in Africa for two years. Yes, Mrs. Fitter. Come on, who's your father? I have to know. Well, it's someone that you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not Charlie from Tower Hamlets, is it? Uh, no, not, not Charlie, no. No? no. So I'm a bit closer to her, Miss Fiddler. You could say that, Miss Fiddler. So next to a street. Round there. Mayor Street. I'm sorry, Miss Fiddler. We don't know who else to ask. It's Come on, girl, spit it out. Who is it? <laughs> it's Mr. Fiddler. Mr. My Mr. Fiddler. My Hampton. Yes. And he's gone off with this girl, Lily, has he? No, no, it's, it's just. She gets a pork chop from him sometimes and... Pork he... chop? Well, he's always had an eye for the ladies, but... I'm sorry, Mrs. Fiddler. Oh, yeah. There isn't anybody else. She doesn't love him. 
Even I don't love him. Ruined my life, he has, all these years. No, I'll sort her out. I'll help her out. Right, 13 Exmouth Street. When? What, what day? Thursday night. Come round after black now. Black is been gates knocking, no one will see her. Okay. And tell her to bring a bottle of gin. Okay? Thank you. You're all right, love. Well, you're right. No, we haven't worked your finger himself. I'll cut his jake himself and I'll try and stop his fingers. He's not a good man, Mrs. Fitton. No, I know that, love. Sonny Isaacs. Yeah. He's going to get me billing at the Agni Empire. I'll be at the stage. Remember, I have billing just under Flory Ford. Yeah. But I'm going back there. I'm going to be coming back. I'm going to beat someone. Coming back to you? Listen, old girl. If you don't come back, I'll tell you what. I don't want to come back. I'll tell you what. Don't you get a phone, you get a 277 bus and you get a bus there. There's the fucking bill. Go. Bloody take it. I'm not coming back here. Good, I'll knock you out. Did you go through with it? How did you know? It doesn't matter. Uh, who told you? It doesn't matter. Did you go through with it? I'm sorry. Sorry. Thank God for that. What? You're happy? Of course. Really? I thought you didn't want me. Or, or us. Let me have that chair. 
Of course I want you. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Come on. This is your ass goddamn hole. Been shot. It's alright, it's not too bad. A few weeks in the hospital. Now I don't have to go back to the front anymore. <laughs> oh, God, I've missed you so much. I've missed you yeah. so much. So much, Charlie. Yeah. I've been thinking, I want to leave the bottle. Why? Let me pour you some tea, you must be so cold. You don't have to do that. I mean, I understand. I've earned money. Yes, but I, I want to think about it. But I want you to be with me. I want you to be with me and run away with me. I was thinking of working for the patisserie. What do you think? I want to be with you. I love you, Charlie. I always have. I came to say goodbye. What? Why? I had no idea you felt the same way. What do you mean? You want to be with me? Yes. Very much so. What do you mean? Why do you have to go? I can't do this. Why? I have a wife. I have a child. Sorry, it's not... I not end it like this. Just... I want you to be happy, Charlie. I do. Please. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'll, I'll try Please to write when I can. Dearest Wynn and Bess, guess what? Daddy's coming home. I've been hospital for a few months. Was hit by shrapnel. I should be able to walk again soon. 
God knows I've missed my girls. All my love to you both. I don't know why God chose me to come back to you and not so many others. So many of my friends are gone. I suffer from nightmares now. I'll come back and I'll make a decent living for us both and a happy life. I'll wait for you more longingly than ever. All my love. So there's these two ducks in a pond and one goes quack and the other one goes what coincidence? I was just about to say that. <laughs> one having an affair with my wife. What? I'm Americans! I'm sorry. I, uh, don't tell me you've just been having your way with her. She deserves more than that. Sorry, yeah. I, I love her. I just want the best for her. I want her to be happy. I didn't want this to happen. Or I didn't want her to get hurt. Sorry. So since I've been back, she's been very unhappy. Both have. This thing, it's, it's changed us both. Sorry. She's yours, big guy. But you can take care of her. So. Charlie, I can explain. No need to, really. I understand. Well, both to get. I've uh, got someone waiting for me, so. Uh, would you like a drink or something? Oh yes please, can I have a, a small glass of wine? Yeah sure, I'm gonna go uh, get one a glass of wine. Oh I got your bike, look out yourself boy. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I'll show you how a soldier gets a girl. I've got some fridges in my pocket, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> my man. Hello. <laughs> so how you been? Uh, same old, just uh, training, um, lots of cold nights with you know, beautiful lady to warm me up, give me a kiss at night, boost my morale. <laughs> well, you have been trying for a long time. I have, and I think I'm well overdue for a kiss. Mm -hmm. Maybe tonight's your night. I hope so. I mean, like, I should have been owed some many, many times ago, so mm -hmm. that happens. Okay, right, I have to go to the ladies anyway. Oh, no, wait, 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 right. wait. They're shipping us out soon, so... You know, the time we spent together has been a blast. I mean, you've really 
you really made me happy. I mean, I love this time that we spent together. I just, uh, I can't say it to you. I'll, I'll show you. in my hand. There's two. Oh, by the way, your little mate Benny Abrams. Yeah, what was he what doing about, poking around last night? What about my mate Benny? He was poking around last night and funny that I should find a box of oranges in the stock room. Uh, what you been snooping about in my stock room for? I've got to keep an eye on things, don't I? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah. What's he got what? to do with Benny? What's he got to do with Benny? Yeah. Cops want to talk to him. Benny That's no, the word on the street. Benny's no grass. What would he grass about? Nothing, because he's got nothing to grass about. Really? You sure about that? Nothing. I'm not talking about it. 15-2, 15-4, 15-6, pairs eight, one for his knob. That's all it's ever been with you, isn't it? What? One for his knob. What are you talking about? One for your bleeding knob, yeah. Yeah? And? That's all it's ever been. I'm well fed up with it. I've had enough of you, fiddler. Where are you going? I'll go back to Acne. Acne? Yeah. Why? You remember Solly? Oh, that front wheel. What does he want? He's going to get me back on the boards at the Empire. Back in the boards, you'll be sweeping them. No. You're going to get me back on the bill. Bill. Like no, I bill was before be I doing... met you. Bill postering. Yeah. You look at me like that for? I keep you in a good life, I do, girl. Oh, do you? Yes, I do. I'll keep you in a good life. Yeah, well, you'll have to clear up your own little problems from now on. What little problems? You know what I'm talking about. And listen to me, old girl. Loose lips sink more than ships. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going back to Hackney. I told you. Go then. Go. How are you going to get there? I'll get the bus. Bus? You got any money? I'll get some. Yeah, well, there's your fare. Half a bleeding crown. Yes. Why don't get me a bleeding limehouse? Walk the breast in a bleeding way. Keep your bleeding off a crown. What have I done? That's right, that's right! <laughs> 
Lily, wake up! Lily, wake up! She's dead. Lily, wake up! Lily, wake up! Lily, wake no, 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 What's the matter? Love looks like you've seen a ghost. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. Sit yourself down, girl. What's the matter? What's the matter, girl? It's the, it's the wardens. What? The, the, the ARP boys. They were having a party in there. All their, all their families, the children. Oh my god. He got hit by a bomb. Oh my god. And they've all been killed. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. I'll get you a drink. Did <laughs> 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 you have some sweets, Mum? No, you had some earlier, didn't you? Can I go out with James to go? Mm. Yeah, all right then, but you've got to be back for lunch, okay? What's for lunch? Soup. Bess, it's the only thing you've got. All right, well, give us a kiss then. Lily. Yeah. You told me she was pregnant with my fiddler's baby. We got the dates wrong, didn't we? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Huh. Why don't you sod off and leave me alone, you fucking old oh, bag? What's happened to your elocution lessons, eh? Didn't do much good, did they? I was trying to make a better life for myself, when I? I can't talk proper, not like you, can I? Just leave it out, will ya? Sod off. <laughs> Typical. Anyway, what are you so upset about? I do care. Perhaps I do care, actually. There was a bomb drop this morning. Oh, yeah? On Wilson Avenue. No, don't we know it? I felt the blast. My best was playing, wasn't she? With the Joneses girl. Your little best? Yeah, my best. She all right? Come on, is she all right? Your little best? No, she ain't what? all right. What's she ain't all right. Oh my God. Oh no, love. <laughs> oh no, please, come on. Just go What's away, leave us alone. She's gone. They haven't managed to get her out yet. Is it? You know, I've been taking these lessons to make a better life for ourselves after the war. So I might be able to make some money to look after her. Because I ain't happy with Charlie. And you know what I was doing this morning? I was messing about with some bloody American again. And I sent her out to go and play. And she asked me, she goes, Mum, can I get some sweeties? And I said, no, you can wait till later. And I, I wish I'd given them to her. Just a couple of sweeties, it all, all she wanted. And if I had done, she wouldn't have got there at that time when that fucking bomb was dropped. Mrs Fiddler. See, if you don't mind, just go away, will you?
Listen, love, the war's going to be over soon. And your Charlie's going to be back. I don't want Charlie. I want my daughter. I want my Bessie. She won't be back either, I'm afraid. It's my fault, isn't it? You can't blame yourself for it, though. It's not your fault we got this war, you know. So everyone keeps telling me. Anyway, we're going to win. Your Charlie will be back. And then you've got to start again. All right? You know... But you never mind these Americans. Those septics. They're no good. But it should have been me, not her. She had a whole life ahead of her. Well, She's only a baby. I tell you what, suffer the children, Mrs Fiddler. Suffer the children. Yeah, the children do suffer. There's no reason not to go on. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, love. Do you want to come for a cup of tea? No. <laughs> I'll go. This heart of mine embraces all day through in that small cafe, the park across the way, the children's carousel, the chestnut trees, the wishing well. 
I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day, in everything that's light and gay. I'll always think of you that way. I'll find you in the morning sun, and when the night is new, I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing you. Seeing you in every lovely summer's day, in everything that's light and gay, I'll always think of you that way. I'll find you in the morning sun, and when the night is new. I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you.